everyone meet Little Pump, aka Gassy Garcia. He is a rapper, a singer, and a songwriter in this country. And t- today, I'm going to take a look on 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 Little Pump's past, as well as today. What the news have had been broke had broke, where it's where it says that Little Pump himself didn't actually vote after endorsing President Trump's re-election. Hmm. I wonder why. You know, I wonder why he would go out out of his way on Twitter. to college and well the video I showed you proves it right there despite the misspelled title of his new album Lil Pump did not drop out of Harvard he never went to Harvard that 18 year old never even went to college since he never finished high school So how old was Little Pump when he started his music career? Let's see, he is now 20 and he was born in 2000 in August. So his first big break happened in 2017, so he might have been 17 years old, I think. I think that it happened to be his first song. Okay, so his first song came out in 2017 called Gucci Gucci, then we got Welcome to the Party, Boss, and then D-Rose, and there's Molly. Uh, Are there any more? Let's see. Young is Flexer. Iced out. His own name. What you saying? Crazy. Smoke my dope. Whitney. And is be like me his? Yeah, I think so. So that pretty much says it all about the pump. And uh, like yikes! No wonder he he couldn't even think straight. And no wonder there are, there are uh, like articles about Little Pump not voting after endorsing Trump. I guess his plan backfired after all, so we're gonna have to take a look at that in a moment. So this goes to show that whoever you support by listening to their songs, at least 
hopefully some of them are actually educated enough and more well-minded enough to, you know, understand a lot of things. I don't think Lil Pump ever did understand a lot of things because a lot of articles today and yesterday have reported that Lil Pump did not register to vote. And judging by his academic skills at school when he dropped out at, at like way too early, yeah, like no wonder his plan backfired after Little Pump, who is a Trump supporter, quote unquote Trump supporter didn't actually vote for Trump. He only endorsed Trump, but he didn't register to vote. And as a 20 year old, he would think you would register to vote first. But no, you just had to join the crowd and support your favorite president because Over the years, he, he's, he's been your favorite guy since The Apprentice. And you watched him all the time and you wanted to one day meet him. And now, here is Little Pump. Meeting Trump for the first time to endorse him without even registering to vote. I bet Lil Pump feels very, very stupid now, does he? Well, this goes to show Rapper Little Pump, born Gassy Garcia, gave his full throated support to President Trump's run for the re election. He didn't, however, bother registering to vote, according to the Smoking Gun. He, 20 year old Floridian, reportedly posted a video on Instagram where he has 17 million followers, declaring all guys say he is from 2020 Bish shortly before Election Day. It's no longer online. A Sunday before the election, Lil Pump attended a Trump rally near his native Miami, where he reportedly wore a Mecca cap and met Donald Trump Jr. But President Trump gave Lil Pump a shadow from the stage, calling him Lil Pimp, then asked him to come up to the podium. The, rapper, the rapper did just that and told the crowd, MAGA 202020, don't forget that. According to Smokey Gun, Lil Pump turned 18 in August 2018 before the midterms, but didn't register. Lil Pump voice had voiced concerns about his taxes going up under Joe Biden's presidency. 50 Cent had also worried about Biden would raise his taxes, but later denounced Trump. Rapper Lil Lane, Lane also backed the president. He tweeted on November 4th as ballots were being counted at Trump with pull out of victory, being calm, being patient, have, tr have trust in the system. Lil Pump assured voters a man will be reelected. Trump had won in Florida but lost to the general election by more than 5 million votes. The president still has not accepted that outcome. Republican 
Republican firebrand Tommy Laren was among the first to welcome the boss rapper's endorsement of Trump. She tweeted, well, we welcome Little Pump to the Trump train after hearing Little Pump was cheering on Team Trump. So I guess Little Pump actually looked very, very stupid now, does he? I mean, I never even, just to tell you the truth, listened to a lot of Little Pump songs. And I don't think I ever plan on doing anything because first and foremost, Little Pump or Gazzy as I should call him is a SoundCloud rapper about a perfectly good education. I mean, how can you be a good, good of a rapper for the last four years? Or at least five years and you didn't actually get a good education folks this is why if you are gonna vote you shouldn't endorse your president unless you actually vote for them first if we had Little Pump actually registered to vote instead of like ignoring it, he wouldn't be in this mess. And plus, <sighs> he had been arrested for discharging the weapon once in an inhabited place. Even though three men attempted to break into his home around 4 p.m. before shooting into the door. And a few months later, he was also arrested in August. He was also arrested in August for uh, driving the bound license. Wow. And on September 3rd, he announced he would be going to jail for a few months for parole violations stemming from the arrest. But he did appear on the live television show Saturday Night Live on September 29th. And his manager did tell Billboard on October 2018 that the rapper had served a prison sentence but did not give any further details. And on, on the month of Christmas, he was arrested by Danish police after performing a performance in Vega, Copenhagen, for processing, processing marijuana. And he was fined seven to eight hundred dollars. And he clipped his middle finger in front of the police officer while being detained. He was successfully banned from the country in two years. And then the following day, nine days later, he was, he was arrested at a Miami airport 
for disorderly conduct. As he was about to take off on a flight, security wanted to search Garcia's luggage for cannabis, but Garcia insisted he did not have any. While no drugs were found during the encounter with police, Garcia became angry and began arguing loudly with security employees. He was subsequently taken into custody. So, I think that's everything that we actually need to know about Little Punk. He's a scumbag, a scumbag douchebag douche who is uneducated and has voted for Trump. I, as an American, I am very embarrassed of our own school system for treating people like this. To make sure that they drop out and not give Little Pump a good enough education that he actually needed. So, ladies and gen gentlemen, my advice to you is don't be a Little Pump because if you become a Little Pump, you're gonna get arrested. Like Lil Pump did. He got arrested at least four times. Four or five times. He got arrested. But if you want to become, but if you do want to become a Lil Pump, well, guess what? Since Lil Pump is a celebrity. He only gets a few few months in jail. But as for you, if you did any of these things Gazzy Garcia was doing, you would stay there for more than, than a few months. And I mean more. So I advise you to ignore what Lil Pump does. And frankly, ignore what he says. Because what he says now, nowadays, despite the fact that he voted for Trump, rightfully so, means that you should not even support him. Even though some fans still make still might like him. It is the Trump part that you should not support Lil Pump for. And if any of his fans are still going to support him despite him endorsing Trump and while not voting for him, well, <sighs> those fans are just as stupid as he is. So, yeah, that is it. Little Pump, if you're watching this, which you probably are, I advise that you go back to school now. Because as long as you are uneducated on everything, you don't have a say anymore after what you just did a month ago. And I hope that by the time you actually try going to college, which I hope you do, you'll be a lot smarter than you are right now. Because right now, you're not even smart, thanks to Trump. You're such a disappointment, you know. You really are. I don't understand how people can support your your music career if you drop out of high school. That's a stupid idea. Go back to school, please. <laughs>